Good evening, everyone. I'm Kelly Jackson. Mike and Ann have the night off. More than 1,200 flights were canceled nationwide today because flight crews are calling in sick with COVID. It's not affecting too many direct flights out of Lambert, but Alex Fees talked to travelers dealing with some turbulence getting to their destination. On um, giving us a, a you know different flight path and stuff, but Denver's all booked up, O'Hare's all booked up right now, so we got a fly tomorrow, I guess. Really? So yeah. What do you make of all this? Um, makes sense with uh, pandemic, uh, with crazy storm systems rolling in. Traffic is visible inside and outside Lambert Airport Sunday afternoon. The arrivals board reports most flights on time with few delays and rare cancellations. Well, it was supposed to take off at around 1240, but um, I think we ended off going at around like 130. Yeah. And where was that? That was from Dallas to St. Louis. Did they give you a reason? Not really. New Orleans was fine from New Orleans to Atlanta, but Atlanta, we did have a uh, like a 15, 20 minute delay. Yeah. And the, the reason given was that they, they just run it behind. Yeah. Specifically speaking, they didn't give us a you know, why. Meanwhile, TSA officials say they screened 1.5 million people nationwide at security checkpoints on Saturday. That's higher than the 1.1 million people screened on that date a year ago, but well below the 2.5 million people screened on Christmas Day 2019. At St. Louis Lambert International Airport, Alex Fees, five on your side. Lambert officials say some delays range from 15 to 30 minutes. TSA projects 17,000 passengers went through security checkpoints today.